I attend Acropolis Maranatha Academy in Ghana, and I've been doing robotics for about three years now. This year, we went to the VEX World Robotics Competition in Dallas, Texas, where we went to represent Ghana in the international stage. Our goal was to go like further in the competition. Because it's a robotics competition, we had to design, build, code, and drive our robots to score points. The competition I was in was called Full Volume. Our robots had to pick up some cubes, then score them in designated scoring zones. After that, the robot had to park in the supply zone. So our team, we had to cooperate with each other and divide ourselves into three groups, the builders, the designers, and the programmers. Each group had their own tags that they worked on. How did your final robot perform at the competition? The name of our robot was Bounty Bots. It performed very well. It was able to collect 12 cubes at a time. It was able to get up to field level 2 in the scoring zone. A robot was also able to partially pack. So we were averaging around 100 points during our competition games. There were many other teams. Other teams were using different designs. The most common designs were robots that used something, someone like an elevator. When they collected the cubes, then the elevator would go up to score the green cubes. They have to go up again to be able to score the purple cubes. A lot of robots were using that design and was not really creative in terms of that design. So that robot was actually my first time handling a robot that big. Because last year's robot was not as big as that. The robot this year was using six motors, two for the drive train, two for the bucket, and two for the intake mechanism. We were able to solve that problem. And everything was able to work smoothly during the time of the competition. For any young student out there who's watching you and they want to learn about robots, what can you tell them? I tell them that they should actually, if they're really interested in it, they should join it. It's a very fun and entertaining program, but it's also very frustrating because failure is part of the process. So if, if they're not the kind of person that is used to failure, I think they should really take some time back and reconsider the option of joining robotics. Uh, look at you already talking about failure. That's impressive. How did you get into robots yourself? So one day when I was coming home from school, somebody who works with Bounce Technologies was giving out flyers for the robotics. And because my elder brother did robotics some years back, I was actually interested in it when I was about six years old. And Bounce Technologies gave me the opportunity to start learning it for myself. So do you have like a computer at home where you do robotics or you just go to Bounty uh Bountiful technologies. That's why you do it. So I have a computer at home and a kit at home where I do my own personal builds and creations. But I have Saturday classes at a center that is hosted by Bountiful Technologies where we prepare for the competition and I meet with my other teammates. You're 12 years old. And at yes. 12 years old, you're already uh, participating in international competitions. How does yeah. that make you feel? It makes me feel very happy and very proud of myself because this just proves that age doesn't really matter. As long as you have the interest in it, you can actually perform well. Tell me about the group. How many people were in the group? In total, in the group that went to America, we were 22. And we were separated into the elementary, the middle school and the high school. I was in the elementary team. And the elementary team were about nine in the team over there. There were other kids my age from different countries. There were even a lot of other people from Africa who also went to the competition. Which countries specifically? So Uganda was the Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Algeria and Ethiopia. Also in Morocco. Uh, interesting. And how did those countries perform? Uh, some of them performed very well, like Nigeria. Others didn't do so well. Is this something that uh, you see yourself doing uh, even next year? I see myself doing this for a long time because it's a pathway to the job I want to pursue in the future, which is biomedical engineering.